for now, because technically it's not a line. Uh, just to get through the initialization. Uh, there we go. Whoop. <laughs> It'd have been nice if it just didn't crash at all, but whatever. Uh, all right, so list or int, unsupported operand types. List and int. What's a list? Pedict parade. You think position is a list? Oh yeah, no, you would, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. Wait, no. No, you're crazy. Position initializes to zero. How is zero a list to you? <laughs> no, this is just crazy. So, like, this is an example of the stuff that Python does that's like, no, you're wrong. <laughs> you're wrong, Python. <laughs> We're literally looking at the position value of this uh, adventure. Wait, how you think this position became a list is beyond me. It start it's zero. I'm literally not setting. I'm I'm initializing. Uh, I'm initializing position to zero, and I'm setting it to zero. Those are the only two things that I'm doing with position right now. Uh, Yeah, I'm setting it to zero. Look, there are literally only three references to it. Here, we're initializing it to zero. Here, we're, we're checking it. And here, we're setting it to zero. And yet, somehow, it's a list. Somehow. <laughs> so... That's cute. Unless it thinks adventure width is a list. But it doesn't think it's a list in all, any of these other cases, so. <sighs> so what then? Uh, <laughs> it's hard to know what to do, because this is like, this is just, uh, as far as I can tell, this is just Python being weird. Like, if this was, like, C-sharp, for example, which is what I work in most of the time, I could just declare pause to be an int, and then there would be no ambiguity. But, um, Python is weird, and they let, they like, I don't know. What's that called? It's like... I forget the term for it, but it's like, you know, it's like that, it's that ambiguity that, uh, <laughs> apparently trips itself up, because I, I don't feel particularly unclear about anything that's happening right here, and yet, and yet, so, I mean, it's a weird state, oh, wait, parade negative one, is it, is it because, it's because, no, it wouldn't have been because of that, right? Yeah, thank you. Uh... I don't know why I couldn't come up with that term myself, but, uh, why on earth do you think this is a list? This, of all things, pause, of all things would be a list, right? No. Uh, so, like, the length of parade minus one. Oh, parade minus one. No. Wait, what? Length of parade minus one. Again, I don't know why that would turn position into a list, but... Oh! If you take... If you use a list as an index, does it return a list of the results? That's... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> or cool? I don't know. Apparently that is the thing. <laughs> Thanks, Python. Such a helpful feature. Uh, Alright. Uh, scratch. Maybe. Like this? Like this kind? Like, like, 
Like that kind? <laughs> no, I, I don't know. What is, what is, uh, what is, uh, what is Scratch Killer XD? Um, yeah, I, I, so the funny thing about Prince is that it doesn't, it never, well, yeah, all right. I mean, we we did figure it out. Um, the, the Prince with the type thing, like, trips me up sometimes because I'll print it and I'll be like look it's exactly what it's, it thinks it should be but then um, I mean like there are values that like will like integers for, for example will print out the same whether they're integers or like other data types they'll like or like a string for example so like I don't know I, uh... oh we figured it out and now it's and now it's working right everything's working great look at that Cool, so now we just have to add more features, but the ones that we added already, totally work, totally legit. Triple A, I'll say. <laughs> no. um, Alright, so yeah, now the next change will be a little bit, um, the next change is actually pretty simple. Um, hmm. Actually, now that I think about it, Maybe parade will be. Should I... I can keep track of positions based on the players, or I could. <laughs> um. Oh. Oh yeah, I tend to um. I tend to prefer programs like this. But I, I love that there are tools out there where um, uh, where you can, uh, yeah, for, so for people who don't like development like this, they, um, they're, they're awesome tools out there. Like, apparently Scratch is one of them, where, like, you know, you don't have to suffer through this. If, like, if this is not your cup of tea, then, uh, then you can. Like, uh, there, there are other ways to make games, and it's great. I, I, love, I, I think that's awesome. Um, yeah, thank you for, for mentioning that, Killer XD. Is it, is it one that you like, or is it just one that you know of? Um, uh, oh. Oh, sure. That makes sense. <laughs> All right. That, yeah, that, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Um, I guess it just... That was, yeah, it was sneaky. It was a very sneaky, uh, int there as a one instead of this, uh, yeah, anyways. <laughs> um, all right. I think part of the reason I put my braces in weird is because with this, I, with this, um, with spider, if you open a brace, it'll automatically close it for you. But like it leads with weird be it leads to there's like slight something slightly odd about how it how it sets its closing braces. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Scratch. That's uh that's good. I like um I like knowing about these things because uh uh. I get a lot of questions about like, you know, hey, I'm just starting out with development, what should I use? So yeah, it's nice to know what options are out there because uh, I like to, yeah, I mean, there are some people for whom that's like a really, really solid approach. Um, uh, all right, so we have Parade now. Uh, so I guess like the first thing that we can check with Parade is, well, I guess we could blit first and ask questions later. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, uh, no, yeah, huh. I'll, I'll move first. Yeah, no, they can still move first and, uh, and then do whatever. All right, so BG scroll, we don't have to touch. I think actually the main difference, the main difference here is that we replace the adventures with, uh, with, uh, replace, uh, yeah, this adventures with, uh, uh, parade. So for Iron Range, Slim Parade, uh, 
So we can say, uh, oh, oh yeah. So p p dict, uh, p dict, uh, parade index i uh, plus equals twelve. Uh, if if this value is uh, greater than 1600 then <clears throat> so right we don't do this anymore we uh, instead now we uh, we pop the we pop the uh, oh ooh so no actually this second Oh no. Yeah, this is one of those cases where I want to iterate. Actually, uh, no, this oh, this will only happen once. Uh, right, no, this will only happen like once per thing. So we don't actually have to iterate over this. We can just say, uh, yeah, we can just say, uh, oops. All right, as you guys didn't want to, all I wanted to do is unindent this. Uh, so right, so first we do, so first we do that like normal, and then uh, and then actually we, we just have to say, uh, predict parade zero. Uh, although I guess we do have to check if that parade length, the length of parade is greater than zero. So if len parade uh, uh, is is greater than zero and that, then. Uh, Oh right, so <clears throat> excuse me. The first thing, actually, we want, we want to move this up here. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, sorry, more more chat. I wasn't paying attention. Uh. Oh yeah. So uh, uh hey uh D the the Doriath, uh welcome to the channel. Um so this the thing we're working on is what we're seeing on the bottom of the screen there the little uh the little guys walking across a mountain range. Um yeah so. That's the that's the project, and we are currently working on uh, making it so that the it's not just a random like army of of little guys constantly, constantly marching across the screen. It's actually going to uh, that's actually those are actually going to be the players, uh, and so the the only the only characters you'll see marching across the screen are the actual characters that are actually playing the game. Uh, yeah. Oh really? Flappy Bird was made with. Scratch. That's that's amazing. You could. That's. I mean. That's a. I'm sure. I like. I feel like Scratch probably must like advertise the heck out of that. Like, you can make top rated like <laughs> hyper addictive, like mind blowingly addictive uh, <laughs> apps with uh, with this uh, with this program. Because gosh, like, has any game had that sort of impact before? Where like people literally like like the entire gaming world like lost its mind. The entire mobile gaming world like collectively lost its mind for that entire like month. Really, like it was. I mean, it was like biggest for like a week, and like everyone was going literally insane. And then, uh, but that no, that had like a lasting impact too. <laughs> Man, that game. Uh, all right, yeah. So. Yeah, right, so in this case we're popping, popping off at the F. No, uh, <laughs> excuse me, right. We are, uh, so, oh yeah, so for example, we, do we have to, do, we don't really have to do anything to PDICT. It's just kind of good to go. Yeah, all right, so then, uh, yeah, so all we have to, all we really have to do is uh, pop this out of parade. So parade uh, index zero, uh, pop. Blamo. Is that how you pop out a little vest? Did I, I feel like I looked this up recently. Is that... Oh no, I don't have to give it an index because we're popping off at the... We're popping off the top. Alright, cool. Cool. Yeah, I've, I've actually never played Flappy Bird, but I, I like, I watched like 10 seconds of a gameplay video and I feel like I understand the entire thing perfectly. <laughs> I feel as if I have. Uh, I've experienced enough of it. I've played enough clones of it subsequent to its release. Um, 
All right, so uh, so now if I run it, we'll actually only get uh, characters. Oh. Wait, what are we gonna do here? AI. Oh. So yeah, I should probably take this part out now. Oh yeah, and actually I can keep this. It's like that's actually all legit. But I should probably take this part out. Whoa, that's some errors. <laughs> what the heck? What is going on here? Uh Whoa. Did Chat go down or something? Did did IRC just like crash or something? What's uh This seems pretty pretty intense. I don't know I don't know what's going on here, but like testing Oh, it seems still to be working. Uh that's weird. Socket error number. The software in your. Wait, an established connection was aborted by the software in your host machine? Is this because I don't like do the ping pong thing? Is that what this is about? Let's find out. This is the first time I've ever gotten this error. And it doesn't sound like it's related to, uh, it doesn't sound like it's related to anything that we've been doing. No. Uh, Python socket. Oh, all right, cool. So it, it was IRC. It wasn't, it wasn't my, uh, it wasn't, so I'm, I'm good to go. Like the bot just hit a speed bump. Like there, it was, there's not, I don't have to fix anything. That's the, the important question, right? I don't actually have to fix anything. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this does. Oh, wait, no, it's gonna not work. It's gonna crash, right? I knew it was gonna crash. Haha, -ha, see, I called it. <laughs> no, I forgot to get rid of. Uh... Well, I'll, uh. No, I'll just get rid of this. Uh, I'll comment this part out and then get rid of the other parts. Uh... Alright. Uh, so, alright, save that, and then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Boston Mass, sorry, I missed it, I got distracted, because everyone thing was crashing, but, uh, welcome, hey, how's it going, uh, good to see you, uh, alright, well, you might have left by the time I said this, sorry, uh, <laughs> hey, everyone's here, uh, Xtria, how's it going, um, yeah, yeah, uh, some 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 games just have like a, a special magic to them that like trigger I don't know like a special part of, of a, the human brain where uh, I don't I don't I don't understand the appeal either but I I mean like history has proven that that this happens and it's real. Um, Aaron, how's it going? <laughs> All right, yeah, thanks for stopping by, Boston. Um, Aaron, has what's up? Uh, yeah, it's uh, I don't know, I was feeling it today. I almost went with like a teal, like a or like a turquoise color, but then I was like, no, red. <laughs> Anyways, uh, wait, so this should work because I commented out the thing that was crashing. Nope, I did not comment out the thing that was crashing. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, wait, what? Oh yeah, yeah, derp. There, all right, that one was just dumb on my part. Uh, 349. That one was just dumb on my part. I'm not incrementing the position. I'm incrementing... I'm trying to increment the, uh, the unit itself. Which is not how that works. Uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I forgot to replace... I forgot to replace this instance with, uh... Again. Oh. Oh, wait, no, no, no. No, that's correct. Uh, yes, no, this instance. I forgot to replace this instance with, uh, with this. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, save that. Hey, 
Hey, awesome! <laughs> what uh, what's your uh, what's your site? If dog, then I was. Is it on the uh, side your games uh, site? Because if so, I might be able to find it. But if not, then uh, please remind me, and I will repost it, or not repost it, and just look at it myself. Uh, uh, uh. Do you guys have like a blog page on your site? No, maybe not. Wait, wait. No. <laughs> wow, everyone's ready except for me. Oh no, I'm so behind. Did you like post on Twirtles or something? Because I'm I don't read Twirtles when I'm on online, but I can. Oh, I'm so I, I'm so behind. I'm so in the dark, you guys. Uh. Oh, there he goes. He posts, okay. Oh, cool. Oh, awesome. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I'm actually um, I'm giving a talk on a on uh, this topic soon so i'm going to um i'm going to steal everything you wrote <laughs> i am um, i'm going to like a uh it's just like a lightning talk thing and I'm, I'm giving on uh on uh monday and um i have to <laughs> i haven't written it yet but i i it's the it's like well it's not literally the same topic i um it's actually uh, i'm giving a how to basically just like um yeah, because, like, it's one of those things that, like, it's really easy to get up and streaming. Like, I'm sure a lot of you know. Uh, uh, I hate Tom Van Hermelen, by the way. Uh, Hermelen. Uh, uh, yeah, it's one of those things that's really easy to get up and, and streaming. But, like, until you actually look into it, like, it seems kind of, like, nebula nebulous and weird. And, like, maybe it's going to be hard to do. But, like, yeah, once you, kn once you know the steps, it's really easy. So I'm basically just giving, like, a... Uh, like a it's like a, it's going to be very uh, practical, very instructive, but I, um, I want to, I want to talk a bit about like, you know, the, uh, the best practices type of stuff too. So, uh, yeah. Awesome. Uh, Hey, uh, Mimong, welcome. Uh, thanks for, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I appreciate your viewership and your support. Welcome. Um, all right. Today's been a great day. We've been getting a lot done. Uh, we've been crashing a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, but then also we've been getting a lot done, and <laughs> and some of it works, uh, like this for example. Uh, look at that. All right, so that's Journeybot. I took out the part where it shows their names for now, but uh, that's Journeybot. And then uh, actually, I guess I could put their name back in. And so Journeybot hasn't realized that there are more players yet, but in the near future, actually no, Journeybot should have realized by now that there are more players, right? Oh yeah, okay, there he goes. Hey, look, it's the other players. All right, so. Um, <laughs> it's okay, Aaron. I'll just uh, I'll just count one of those days that you did like ten of them in a row. So you have like you have nine more backups. So if you, <laughs> you can skip it nine more times and it still counts. <laughs> um, oh yeah. Oh oh, the thing about streaming the talk. Yeah, I um, I kind of wanted to, but the last time I was at this venue, the internet connection was really like, really yeah, like it was like. I don't know, I can try it. I just, uh, I don't expect it to work. <laughs> but, I mean, I can definitely try it. <laughs> um, yeah, I, um, oh, uh, one thing, this is a, this is unrelated, but, hey, we got a new follower! <laughs> <Belated's Cove. laughs> Welcome, Belated Scope. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate your viewership and your support. <laughs> um, this, so this is unrelated, or, like, this is on another topic, but, um, I'm pitching a talk at, uh, at PAX East about, uh, game streaming, game dev streaming, and, uh, that one I want to stream. That one I really, like, it, because you're allowed to, like, uh, when you sign up for the talk, you, uh, you get to, uh, add, like, little notes about, like, you know, do you have any special special hardware requirements or whatever and I, I wrote I want to stream this live from the podium while I'm uh while I'm while while I'm leading this panel or like on this panel I don't know if I'm I think I'm moderating it probably I don't know if I am uh 
I'm definitely on the panel, though. And then, uh, if the panel even happens. And, uh, it's gonna be really good. Oh my gosh, you guys. I, I don't think I'm, I think I'm probably, should, I shouldn't say who I've got for the panel, but, um, imagine, like, really cool people that might be on this panel, and it's, I've, I've been, like, freaking out for the past month, because I've been, I've been trying to set this up for, like, a month now, and, like, oh my goodness, you guys, like, oh my goodness, um, uh, hey, uh, Bloodfish Bite, uh, so what we're working on now, oh, wow, it's really, it's really barren now, because there's, wait, where'd all the dudes go? Oh, something, I might, I might have left, like, a hole in my logic, because, like, there's supposed to be dudes walking <laughs> across the mountains, <laughs> but um, they seem to have gone somewhere else. Uh, actually, yeah, let's uh, let's see what what's going on with uh, with uh, QQ now because because uh, QQ should uh, QQ should uh, yeah. Wait, QQ is getting filled up, and then it's just like emptying and oh, am I forgetting to actually add? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not. And add equals CDD. That should work. Oh no, and they're getting removed from parade too. I, th I mean, they should be getting removed from parade. Is parade not emptying? Oh, look at parade. Parade isn't emptying. Why is parade not emptying? Uh, so let's look at what journey bots. Uh. So go with journey, so journeybot is the zero index and it, so look let's look in the pedict uh where's pedict should be in the p sections wouldn't you think <laughs> I feel like pedict should be in here somewhere and yet what on earth happened to pedict why is there no pedict Why is there no PDX, you guys? I feel like that's a little bit suspect. I mean, there clearly is PDX, because, like, there's, like, a million things uh, that rely on PDX. If PDX wasn't there, like, the, everything would be exploding, like, like a flaming wreckage. Um, oh, sorry, I'm doing a terrible job of explaining what we're working on. Uh, <laughs> Um, so, like, oh, yeah, okay, so that if the game were working right now, it'd be like a, I'm calling it, like, a side quest for the stream. It's basically, like, a little, uh, multiplayer text adventure, uh, like, uh, role-playing sort of thing that, like, that's, that's supposed to happen, like, as the stream goes. And, like, yeah, so the backgrounds are still rendering, but we seem to have lost our, have lost our adventures. Um, more than that, the, the variable explorer doesn't even seem to... How on earth is anything working without PDICT? That's crazy to think that PDICT would be absent. But So why can't I explore it? I mean, like, the other dicks are showing up here. Alright, well, that's really inconvenient. But, like, uh... So the fact that Parade has any entries in it, like, it's not clearing itself out correctly. It's not... So how am I... Yeah, so what's the part where I'm supposed to be clearing it out? Uh, yeah, so if len parade is greater than zero, true. So maybe it's just the fact that pedict is, like, missing in action? I don't know. Sorry, all right, what's going on in chat? Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am... Um, I feel that way about real packs, uh, if dog then. <laughs> like, whenever real packs happens, I'm like, ah, I'm not there. <laughs> I just, but, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think I might get escorted out of the building if I tried to wear only a scarf, unless I pish positioned it very strategically. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, sorry about the programmer. 
Yeah, I don't know what came over me. Um, uh, cotton, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry. I, um, I'd like to, sorry, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm being only moderately attentive to chat right now because I have no clue what's happening right now, you guys. I have no clue what's happening. So, uh, I mean, I don't see how this would fix anything, but at least until I can figure out what's actually happening, I'm tempted to, uh, I'm tempted to Actually, no, you know what? I'm just going to say, uh, I'm just going to print out, uh, these things when it happens. So print, uh, print, uh, parade I, parade I is the name of the character, uh, plus a space, plus, uh, the string of, uh, pedict parade I pause. Like, what is, where does it think it's located? Because I get the sense that these are just, like, wandering off into space, and they're never coming back. And they're never leaving the... Oh, did I do my conditional backwards? If parade is... No, if... Oh, my gosh! I forgot the position! <laughs> so this is probably going to be a theme. I'm probably going to keep forgetting to write dot pause. And I guess apparently... <laughs> Apparently my class is never greater than 1,600. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Uh, yeah, but what's the deal with P-Dict missing? I think that was what was throwing me off. Like, the fact that P-Dict is missing is crazy. It's ridiculous. It's, in it's insane. Player dictionary is... P-Dict, the player dictionary, is the basis of the game. Because this game is based around player actions. And without... Like, that's like saying the events are... Inc oh, yeah, I, I can take out that print. Uh, because I'm sure I just figured out what was wrong. Uh, all right, so... Actually, get rid of that. Um, all right, so, yeah, print... Get rid of... All right, uh, yeah, so... I'm, okay, that should that should work now. Yeah, no, that's like saying... That's like saying my laptop is missing. <laughs> this is all happening on my laptop right now. Clearly, my laptop is not missing, or else there would be much bigger errors <laughs> uh, with what's happening. Uh, all right, so, yeah. So Journeybot knows about himself, uh, like Journeybot knows about himself, and then he doesn't realize until at the end of the event there are actually other people there. So this this one w this guy way out in the lead is Journeybot, um, and then the other two are me and Vortalus. Uh I could prove it by splitting the names, but um, instead I'm gonna actually do like the thing that I want to do instead, which is uh, to to do it the, to to show the names like the way that we actually want to show it. So yeah, if you guys want to, uh, well, I mean, there's no name tag, so like it's not clear who's who, but like if you guys, hypothetically, if you guys join this channel right now, you could, uh, you could also join. Hold on, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna log into my other account so that I have two accounts to check, test this with. Sorry, just one second. I just need to put, punch in my password, hence the, uh, whatever, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna turn off the mic for a second. I'll be right back. Uh, there we go. Alright, so now, uh, so now I should have two horses in this race, and, uh, so there should be, like, a few extra adventurers wandering across the screen now. Hey, look, we're all in the group. <laughs> look at us. Look at us adventurers. Um, so, uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, so yeah, there's a thing where new players, there's like a slight delay between when a new player joins the channel and when the new player gets added into the game. And that's just because of how IRC works. Like there are these join messages, but they don't show up immediately. They, uh, they, it takes a little while for whatever. Uh, one way you can, you can jump the, uh, the, uh, the queue, though, is just by actually participating in an event. So, like, uh, if I do left, then that'll automatically add me to the player dictionary. And so now... Whoa, why is this guy not moving? Whoa, what does that have in there? <laughs> I don't know what that was about. That was weird. I didn't imagine that, right? It actually happened. Hey, look, now there's five of us. There's six of us. Wow, look at all of us. Look at us go. 
Look at this band of adventurers, this merry band of adventurers. Uh, uh, so that is the question that everyone asks, is will there be character customization? And uh, the answer is, well, for one thing, this is temp art. Like, this is not the art that's going to be in the game. So <laughs> don't you worry about that. Um, you ask an interesting question, though. Uh, and I hadn't actually thought of this particular aspect, is just, like, adding some, some uh, like, forced character customization. And I guess the answer is yes. Although... This is not a collaborative project, and so I'm not actually taking ideas. And so because you said that, I think the answer has to be no, uh, because because this is a, a personal project and it's not a collaborative project, I've been actively avoiding suggestions. So unfortunately, because you said that, the answer has to be no. But um, it could have been. I might have come to that conclusion on my own at some point. Uh, <laughs> who knows? And then down the line, I kind of would like character customization. Uh, uh, so for starters, uh, yeah, right. So there's no um, there's no indication of who's who yet, but um, that's one thing that uh, <laughs> that's one thing that w that we're working on literally right now. Well, literally right now, we're adding in name tags. So uh, well, you're getting your wish, Aaron. But um, yeah, like I've said, uh, I mean, all of everything that I've done with this project, like pretty much everything I've done with this project is in the archives. So like, there's a pretty strong indication. Like if you went back and you watched the archives, you would know pretty much exactly what this project will be and what this project won't be. No, if you do that, you, you're going to get banned from chat, Tom, is, is what's going to happen. <laughs> And that's not a joke. <laughs> I'll be sad to see you go, but you'll be gone. <laughs> you'll be gone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if Dogdan was probably joking, but uh, <laughs> this is... <laughs> it's literally what I have to do, um, because... I do collaborative projects sometimes. Like, if you, you guys have probably been here for stream jams before, where literally the entire point of the jam is to all work together and work collaboratively. So if you enjoy that, um, you should stop in for the jams. Uh, if you if you don't know when the next one is and you'd like to know, uh, my Twitter handle is is under is in the info pane. It's at s r s l y underscore b z. That's where I post announcements and stuff. So if you if you want to know when the next uh, collaborative project is coming up, then uh, that is the way to find out. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, um, uh, so, yeah, right, so the, the tech stuff, stuff. So the thing about Ludum Dare is that it's happening on a weekend, and I tend to work during the week instead. So, I was thinking of Ludum Dare, but at this point, like, I'm thinking probably not. Like, people just don't watch during the weekends, I've found. Like, uh, like, I, I guess, it, I mean, I know some people, like, obviously there are game dev streams that happen on the weekend, but, uh, for whatever reason, like, mine doesn't get viewership during the weekends. Like, whenever I stream on the weekends, I get, like, paltry numbers. Like, not even, like, half the viewers that I usually get. So, like, while I could do that, because, like, no one seems to want to do that, um, I, uh... I tend to just use the weekends to rest and stream during the week. But, um... <laughs> I know, right? I, um... I don't know. I, 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 I start with very strong concepts. So, um... Like, if you, were to, if you were to say... If someone were to suggest right now, like, oh, you should have the, tech, the floating text pop out of their heads, I'd be like, hey, go look at the archives where I've said that 500 times already. Um, so, yeah, because I, uh... Because I have, like, a lot to go with, for starters. Like, I tend to have, like, projects, like, mostly formed in my mind. Like, you know, like, 90% uh, from the outset. It tends to work out. But, um, that was a good one, though. The random variants, like... Man. <laughs> uh, I, I'll probably... <clears throat> I'll probably add, like, just legit character customization at some point, And then, uh... 
and there won't be... Uh, I shouldn't say that, though, because... I mean, the only reason I'm not adding character customization is because it's pretty much impossible until I figure out how it's possible. <laughs> so, anyways. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a good point. Right, like, because with the PewDiePie, whatever, like, everyone's going to be doing it. So, yeah, right. That's another reason. So, yeah, I'll probably do it, like... Uh, I might be doing it in that time span, because it's been, it's been a few weeks now since the last one. I was thinking, like, maybe once a month is, like, an okay pace for them, right? Because it doesn't have to be, like, every week or anything, but, like, it's good to do them now and then. I enjoy them. Maybe not, maybe not literally every month, but, like, you know, in that, in that time frame, time, in that approximate time range. Um, alright, so, alright, so, yeah, now we have to do a few more, uh, checks. So was it freaking out before because I was dragging the frame? Because like if I drag the frame, whoops, <laughs> if I shake the frame, everything minimizes. But if I drag the frame, everything freezes. And then when I let go... Yeah, I think that's why it like freaks out a little bit. I think if I don't drag the frame, it probably won't freak out as much. That's my theory anyways. Oh, you guys probably can't even see it freaking out. It's probably freaking out off camera. Alright, so that's good. Probably, hopefully. I hope it's freaking off, freaking out off camera, because then I just won't bother fixing it at all. <laughs> um, and then I'll just like, I mean, I don't plan on dragging that around much during, like, while the game actually runs. The the reason I've been dragging it around most of the time is just because uh, during development I keep like bringing it on screen to see to take a closer look and whatnot. Oh, but chat's also probably frozen. Uh, <laughs> um, you know what's funny, Aaron, is that I was almost thinking of marathoning today because I um I'm starting Wednesday. I'm visiting uh, relatives for the rest of the week, so I only have today and tomorrow, and I usually try and do thirty hours a week. So thirty hours in two days is is pretty marathon like. I'm thinking a better idea will be to like to do ha two half marathons. So the good news is that I'm probably going to be online for a while today. I started at like 10.30ish this morning. And uh, so I've been on for... Uh, seven and a half hours? Yeah. No, six and a half hours. Right? Why can't I do math right now? I've been on for like six and a half hours. And, uh, I'm, so I'm probably going to be on for a while today, and I'm probably going to be on for a while tomorrow. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I might not hit 30 hours this week. I might not hit 30 hours because of the holiday. Uh, I do have, like, I literally have two entire cases of soda right here, though. <laughs> so, <laughs> if I, it's, it's, it's not outside the realm of possibility. Well, who knows, Aaron? I might still be online when you get back. <laughs> um, Alright, so... So, right, so we're doing all this, like, parade stuff, and, uh... So, the next thing... We'll want to do... Is... To choose when and how to blit text. So... How do I want to do this? Do you want to, uh, yeah, uh, Cherry Zero is, uh, is my current drink of choice. I have Cherry Zero, and I also have Diet Dr. Soda Brands. I don't like saying brand names on stream or showing logos. Sometimes I do by accident, but, sorry. I'll drink off again, man. <laughs> um... So, right, I have soda, uh, and that'll keep me going, but it's not going to keep me hydrated. So, I, um, I'll get started on blitting the name tags and everything in just a second, but um, first I'm going to take a super quick break. I'm going to refill my water bottle real quick. I will be right back.
backs are fiddling. Oh, wow, chat. Cha. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, hold on. Uh. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think Better Twitch TV has, uh, has some built-in emoticons that are not, like, Twitch official, I think. Is that how that works? I think that's how I get weird emoticons that, uh, don't show up anyway. Uh, <laughs> yes, I am stocked on soda. It occurred to me that I should be chugging soda right now, because I have to stop drinking soda at 8.30, because caffeine has a five-hour lifespan, like active life active ver you you stay hyper for five hours uh is what i'm trying to say um and i don't want to stream later than one thirty tonight so i do have to stop at some point and then uh <laughs> so yeah i should be pounding this stuff uh oh yeah <laughs> Vortalos, make both characters, and then, uh, and then see which one grips you? I don't know. Uh, wait, so Warlock, between Warlock and Priest? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. You know, I don't know if you have any interest in, so, <laughs> you know what class I really wish I was playing right now is Druid. I don't know if you like Druid, but apparently, like, Boomkins are, like, literally blowing it up right now like boomkins are like like bombkins no I <laughs> i'm just gonna say something stupid if i try and say something cool but um <laughs> yeah uh <laughs> um yeah uh yeah right make both I, I, um, I, like, basically can't play that game unless I have multiple characters, because, uh, if I don't have rested experience, like, I'm like, what's the point of playing this game? And so I, like, have multiple characters all accruing rested experience all at the same time, and, uh, alright, sorry, I'll get back to, uh, I'll get back to, to game dev. Yeah, seriously, that's one topic that I can spend inordinate amounts of time discussing, so. <laughs> um, alright, so, huh. So, yeah, what do we, all right, so, yes, <laughs> I'll stop saying so now, uh, uh, I think I need a, so in, in addition to parade, I think I need a, a list of name tags. Oh, but yeah, so for name tags, how should I do this? Because name tags... Uh, it's not just a list. Or it's not just a list of names. It has to be a list of... Uh, I mean, I can make it a dictionary. How do I want to do this? Like, the rules about, uh, about name tags are that, um, when a player gets to a, uh, certain point... Oh, is that freaking out? Maybe that freaking out has actually nothing to do with, uh... Maybe that freaking out has nothing to do with, uh, dragging the frame. Maybe it just happens naturally. Um, I'm really glad it happens off-camera, off like, off-screen, so that no one ever notices it, but whatever. Um... Oh yeah, it looks like one, doesn't it? The um the I am SoCal emote. It yeah, it looks like one. Uh good eyes, Aaron. Uh alright, so uh so the rules here are that like when a character gets like to a distance so that their name can sufficiently fit on screen. So for one thing I have to figure out what that distance is. But when they get to that distance, they get a name tag if their name tag would not clip into someone else's name tag.
and then the name tag like floats up and then eventually disappears. Molly Bob, say, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> you're gonna do great, Molly Bob's. I swear, you, you, it's everything is gonna go super, super great. You, you have nothing to worry about. Probably, maybe, I don't know. Could be. <laughs> I believe in you, man. <laughs> um. <laughs> um all right, so uh Oh, yeah, no, sure. Parade goes in order. Like the parade is listed in order. So if we find someone with a name tag, we can skip a distance and check and find the next person who could possibly have a name tag. All right, so this isn't so hard. But then um So we should probably do name tags based on parade and not based on the the player themselves. So they'll be indirectly based on the player because parade is based on the player and name tag is based on the parade. Um, so, so maybe the player should keep tra track of their own name tag. That might be the simplest mechanism so yeah so uh oh yeah so name name tags uh equals this also uh so we'll process name tags and then we'll add new name tags and the reason we have to pr fully process the name tags all the existing name tags before adding new name tags is that these will probably tend to appear and disappear in clumps. So for example, like when there are like this many people, when there are like six people watching, walking across the screen, like maybe the second and the, the sixth one will get their name tags at the same time. And right when the second and the sixth one's name tags disappear, the third and the seventh will probably get their name tags to appear. And so we can't do it just in order because the thirds, the third player's name tag can't appear until the sixth player's name tag has disappeared. I mean, these are just example numbers because I don't know what the exact actual like distance range will be, but um, you know, it'll be like roughly, roughly as such. And um, just for simplicity's sake, I'm not going to go by the actual width of the character's name. I'm just going to go by the maximum width a character's name can be, which is 25 characters. And actually, I guess it's a little bit convenient that we're using a monospace font because 25 characters will, regardless of which characters, will always be the same width. So, yeah, that's, so that's how we're going to keep track of making sure that the names don't overlap. We're not going to do any sort of, like, physics collision, whatever nonsense. We're just going to make sure that we're only blitting names that won't overlap. And there will actually be, like, a buffer. Oh, yeah, that's actually a good point. So there's actually going to be a buffer space between them so that if they are max length, they, they're not literally next to each other and unreadable you know they'll, they'll still it'll still be clear enough like like you'll still you'll, you can tell when one where one ends and the other begins you can't have spaces in uh twitch names which will be convenient so just by putting in a space it'll be clear where one ends and the other begins it doesn't have to be a very big gap it just has to be any amount of gap uh yeah oh yeah all right so the I don't know what this freaking out thing is about, but, uh, oh, I guess I'll put it on screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Like, when they get to the start and, like, like, uh, after, yeah, after they make it all the way to the end and they start looping back around, they spend, like, they spend, like, a, I don't know, like, ten frames, like, appearing and disappearing and then appearing again, and then eventually they start walking across the screen. Oh, whoa, what's happening here? Oh, I guess IRC is just having some, like, issues right now. Because this is the second time this has happened. Uh, maybe it recovered. Maybe it's going to crash again. I don't know. Who's to say? Who is to say? Test. Still seems to work. Climb. Uh... All right, yeah. So once they get to the end of the screen, oh, I guess they have a little, a little, a little, slightly further distance to go. I don't know why this is. Ha 
Oh, whoop. Nope, never mind. <laughs> it's gonna crash. <laughs> well then. Uh, I wonder how long it's gonna stay crashed for. Uh, actually, yeah, and f furthermore... Can I join mid... I feel like I should be able to join mid... Like, the, the, uh... The characters are always staying all clumped up. But, like, as a new player, I feel like I should now... Oh, no, you know why... Yeah, there we go. I didn't show up... No, why didn't I show up faster? I didn't show up until the end of the thing. Is that normal? No, that's not normal. Why was there that delay? Players should be added to the player dictionary immediately. And then they should just start blitting immediately. Like, they should just show up and, and join the uh, entourage pretty much immediately. I think. At least I don't recall a specific reason why they wouldn't do that. Uh, hmm. Yeah, what's that about? And actually, yeah, hold on, I'm going to put this on screen so you guys can see. Whoa! Whoa! It did not like when I dragged the screen just then. Did you see all those adventures disappear? What is up with that? That is weird. That is weird. Oh. Am I not... I might not be error checking. Yeah, no, something's weird. Because they keep getting all clumped up like that. Which I guess is fine. Like, it's kind of cute that they all stick together. <laughs> but uh, I also feel like that's an indication of something going wrong. So let's check that... that um, yeah, before we move on, let's check the... Uh, check what's what's going on here see if we aren't uh doing some odd error checking so uh yeah what is it no it's not any of those things it's uh oh so hold on let's uh When we're popping things off the parade, let's let's see what we're doing there exactly. Uh, so print uh, parade index zero. Uh, also a space, and also the string of uh, pdict parade zero dot position. Uh, hey, Atricia, how's it going? Welcome to, welcome. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened. Like, the thing where they, the guys were just, like, disappearing from the middle of the field, I don't know what that was about. It seemed like they must have been getting, like, popped off the parade prematurely. I don't know what that was about, but I'm hoping we can find out. Because that was weird. I guess I could just use the view on the bottom of the screen, but that's really small. Uh, all right, so all right, that was pretty good. The uh, the rest of adventures are showing up with odd regular odd consistency, but whatever, they're showing up, so that's fine. <laughs> um. Uh, crawl got beats. What's up? Um, I I you're. I don't know if I'll have a, an answer to a big question, but I, I, uh, you, you can certainly ask, and I'll, I can certainly try to answer. Uh, Growl got beats. I like that name, by the way. Uh, all right, so is this weirdness going to happen again this time? Maybe, maybe, that, maybe that weirdness was because I started dragging the handle and I didn't know how to react to that. Let's find out. Are these dudes just going to disappear from the middle of wherever, and if they do, yeah, look at it, it's eating them, and every time it eats them, it keeps saying Journeybot, but, um, Journeybot's getting popped out of the parade, so how on earth could it still be Journeybot, right? That's my question. Oh, wait, does it pop default from the end? Oh, because if that's true...
Huh. Maybe, so maybe I should specify pop zero. Maybe that's what's going weird. That would, I mean, that's the only thing I can think of, really. So wait, where else am I popping? I should probably be specifying pop zero in all of these, in all of these situations. I don't know. I mean, I mean to specify pop zero in all these situations. Oh, no, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, do I, though? Yeah. Yeah, no, I do. Alright, I'll see if this is better, or worse. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Uh, yeah, because that was weird, what it was doing. Uh, oh! Um, yeah, okay, so, so what we're working on is, uh, you've probably figured out, it's that thing that we're seeing on the bottom of the screen. We're making a, uh, I'm call I've been calling it side quest. It's like a, uh, it's kind of like a text-based multiplayer adventure narrative thing to happen that we can play during the stream uh, on and off or like whenever we feel like it and uh so uh, uh what the yeah so oh so so we're building it in python with uh spider is the ide that we're working with and um actually hold on i have to be watching this but uh yeah in terms of like the syntax and stuff um I have a background working with, uh, like, I've been programming stuff, not consistently, but, like, on and off for, like, years, years and years now, and so, um, it did take a while to learn, like, my first programming language, but, uh, oh, cool, good, it's not doing that weird thing anymore. Good, good. It's not doing any weird thing anymore. Yay! We fixed everything forever. Although... Yeah, some dudes are taking a little while to show up again, but whatever. I guess that's fine. There's no specific problem with that. Like, dudes get spaced out a little bit sometimes. That's fine. It's legit. Uh, <laughs> um, Alright, anyways. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it, take, it took a while to learn uh, one programming language, but then, like, um, just know, but just by knowing one language, it, like, it becomes easier to figure out, like, how all the syntax works. So, like, it was... I, I haven't worked in Python much, so it took... <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is getting a little bit uh, ragged at this point, but uh, drinking soda is not going to help. I don't know why I did that. Um, yeah, um, it's like the sort of thing that, like, as you learn, uh, yeah, if you if you know one language, it becomes easier to like parcel out like how to learn a new one. Like you you'll learn your next one faster and faster. So, uh, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> well, thank you, girl. Um, yeah, I, uh, it's, uh, actually, yeah, we were talking earlier, and, like, there are tools that you can get that, um, like, the one that someone mentioned earlier, I think, was called Scratch, where, like, you don't have to understand, like, all this stuff in order to make a game, which is kind of great, because this hasn't always been the case. Um, like, there are a lot of cool editors now that you can make a game using, like, much, uh, like, a very different tool set that doesn't involve nearly as much, like, in-depth knowledge. The other cool thing about that is that, I bet even just by using those tools, it would, like, if you learn how to use one of those tools and you got good at that, like, it would probably be a lot easier to learn this stuff based on just having that knowledge, too. Because it's the sort of thing that, like, the more you understand about, like, programming and how it all works and how it all works together, what you can do with it, what you can't do with it, it becomes easier to understand, like, how any specific uh, language or tool set might, um, might leverage or, and uh, feature those capabilities. So, yeah, um, it takes a while to get good, and I'm, I don't know, I, I don't know if I'm, like, so part of the reason that I've been working, like, independently for a while, instead of, like, just going out and getting a real job, is, uh, I, um, I've really, like, I've been spending this time, uh, on, like, skill development, because, like, I, one thing you don't always get, like, just working like a nine to five is like what's what's expected of you is not always what you would hope for yourself necessarily and so i don't know it's been nice for a while i've been kind of like uh working on projects that i want to work on not even just like like not even just in the sense of like what projects i'm working on but like um <laughs> but like working but in terms of like what i do for those projects so like 
I don't know. I spent a lot of time working in AAA, like, filling out paperwork. It was ridiculous. I was like, I don't want to be filling out paperwork. I want to be, like, actually... <laughs> but, like, anyways. Um, uh, how did, I don't know how I got on that long, long tangent. Uh, oh, yeah. It's, I, so, you're right now. So, the reason I was talking about that thing is because... Um, yeah, whatever you want to do to make games, like, whatever's important to you, like, spend your time doing it because, uh... Cool. Uh, all right, I can take out this print because it's clearly working correctly now. Uh, yeah, apparently pop pops from the end or something. I don't know. It doesn't pop from the correct place. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it must pop from the end, which is neat, I guess. But, but anyways. Um, well, uh, yeah, because, uh, like, yeah, the more you work on the stuff that really interests you and the more you work on the stuff that you want to be working on, the better you get at it. And so, uh, yeah, I hope to be a good programmer someday. Right now, I just consider myself, like, capable like, a, a very practical developer in that I can do what I need to do in order to accomplish what I need to, what I want to accomplish, so. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, okay, so name tags. Um, do I have everything I need to set up name tags now? No, I need, uh, right, I need uh, characters to know about their name tags. Uh, so, adventures, uh, they have position, and then they also have... Uh, Empty pause. Uh, because, like, as I mentioned before, um, name tags, like, start above the player's head, and then they just, like, kind of drift slightly. They, they just, like, they move sl slow. They, they, they tick slowly upwards, and, uh... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, sorry. Uh, and so I think players are just going to keep track of where their name tags are located. That way, um... Because Parade keeps track of the players that are marching across the screen... And name tags will keep track of the position of the players in the, uh... Whoa. Wow. What did we do there? For I in range, len, parade. Key error, somewhat disoriented. How? How? 350. Line 350. What's all this, then? Line 3... Whoops, too far. What are you talking about? We're using the... <laughs> we're using the exact range of... We're using an exact range. How it... <laughs> Is that weird to anyone else? <laughs> we're literally just looping over the contents of this... Uh, Oh, yeah, I've been, uh, uh, I've been wondering that, like, it seems like there should be a way to, uh, make games on mobile, right? But, um, I haven't found a good one yet. I know there, uh, oh, uh, no, somewhat disoriented, didn't break it, the game just broke, but, uh, it broke in a really weird way, I have no clue how it broke. I have no clue how it broke. Because it broke on something really crazy. It says, for I in range. Oh. In range? No? I honestly don't. Wait, for I in range. Oh. Well... No. I guess I'm doing this weird. I, I mean, there's no reason I have to do it like this. I could always just do uh, for, for LI in Parade. And then uh, instead of doing all this, I can just do BDICT LI. I don't see how this should fix anything. Like, it really shouldn't fix anything. Uh, but, I don't know. It's also slightly simpler. Is that... Yeah, I don't know. Let's see if that's better. 
Yeah, if you don't specify zero, um, it the zero is implicit, so there's no reason that. Like, if anything, like, like the error was implying that like I had been the person's name, but in that in the way I'd been setting it up, it actually I should have just been an integer, which is why I called it I. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that's about. Uh, oh yeah, right. Yeah, go. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh. Oh, cool. Oh. No, um, if dog then, I'm pretty sure the question is... Wait. Oh. Oh, no. I So, either if dog then or I have misunderstood the question. Because, um... So, girl got beats. Are you asking... Are you trying to make a project for mobile? Or are you trying to make a project on mobile? Like, are you trying to use your iPad to make the game? Or are you trying to make a game for iPad? Because if you're trying to make a game for iPad, then yes, what if dog then said is correct. Unless I'm on, uh, unless I don't actually understand what Gitteros and Kivi are. I know Kivi is for mobile. So unless Gitteros and Kivi are also on mobile, um, I don't know. Uh, I will look into this too. Uh, actually, I have my iPad right here. I can just search the uh, App Store to see if it's there. Uh, let's find out. Because uh, if there, if something like that existed, that would be fantastic. Because then I, I wouldn't. Well, I don't know. I stream so much now that it wouldn't actually help me until I also got the ability to stream from my iPad, but, um, hey, that could happen someday. And then I, and then, uh, yeah. Yeah, isn't that, like, doesn't that, don't you wish that was the case? Yeah. Oh, okay, well, I, if I understand girls correctly, question correctly, then I, I, that was, that was my, that, like, that was my interpretation, and, I, I wish that th that stuff existed. Like, you know what really blew my mind? Is that I was looking for an app that I could make pixel art on my iPad, and I couldn't find a good one, which seems crazy. It seems like there should be at least some options. For, like, well, okay, technically I did find some options for making pixel art on my iPad, but none of them seemed very good. And it seems like there should be at least a good one by now. Because, like, I don't know. Like, am I really the first person who's been, like, hey, I need to make some pixel art, and I have my iPad, and I'm, like, stuck here. Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, actually, so that's what, that was, I, I forget if I actually said it or not, but, like, yeah, I found, um, I found some tools for making, like, text advent, or, like, uh, like, interactive fiction type games, but, um, they, they weren't even that impressive, but, uh, yeah, um, and actually, that was when I was in, on Android that I found those. I haven't even looked again on uh, on iPad, because they're um, actually on Android. The one thing I can say is that like, there's like, uh, there are like there's tools that you can get for Android that you can like write Python for an on Android, which is kind of cool. Like Python and Lua. Like when I was trying to write learn Lua, I um, I got like a, a I downloaded like a Lua interpreter, and I don't think I could, like, have literally made apps that way, but I could have uh, written the apps on Lua and, like, tested some amount of it and then probably, like, you know, saved it. And then when I got back to my, like, workstation, you know, I would have had made progress. I would have made progress. So, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I've never tried that before. Tom Van Hermelen. I actually haven't gotten in too into using, like, outside uh, resources. The closest that I've done to that is using IRC chat just for this game. Um, I mean, it's fun, and it's the type of thing that I'd like to get into. Yeah, so far, like, I, I, like most of what I've done has been portfolio development, and so I made sure to use almost entirely just, like, simple... Like, for the, for the, for the sake of my portfolio, I put together, like, basic, like... 
design work really like it has as few external dependencies as possible because really all it's supposed to do is showcase what i what i do what like what i bring to game development um but yeah this is like the first project that i've worked on that hasn't been for my portfolio and so uh i i, I do like getting creative and i do like using interesting things like that so uh ooh. Kodia. That sounds like it'd be worth checking out. I'm gonna add that to my list of things to make anything on your iPad. That's not that is a bold claim. Can I make uh can I make dinosaurs? Like real dinosaurs? That'd be cool. Uh if there's an app that can make let me make <laughs> real dinosaurs. Uh instant purchase. Uh, am I doing anything? <laughs> have I just stalled out completely? <laughs> um, I'm working on name tags, or at least I'm supposed to be. All right, and so now what did I add? I added a new value for like the position nt pause. Or actually, I'm gonna call that pause nt. Uh, so now, uh, so now we can blit in. Right, so we have a way to blit in text. Maybe I should uh maybe I should make text splitting based on the center position. Nah may uh maybe actually. That would be convenient, because then I don't have to do that math separately. Uh Oh yeah. <laughs> Girl, you missed it. Um, check out Codia, the thing that, oh, yeah, uh, for, I forgot links get blorched in chat, so, uh, uh, yeah, this seems to be the coolest thing, uh, I haven't, I haven't checked it out yet, but, um, if dog then looked into it and, and came up with this one, so, that could be a good one to check out, the, the link that I posted in chat. Um, alright, so, uh, yeah, uh, blitting text, uh, Hmm. I kind of have to do this math elsewhere anyway, so... I, I won't go... I won't, I won't do that yet. I might... Like, once I'm done with setting this up, I might realize that it would make more sense to put it there, but for now, I'll just, uh... I'll just leave it where I started it. Where is it? Here... Here's where... We're doing stuff. So, alright, so, uh... So, yeah, for now, let's just say... What? So, uh, for, uh... Oh. Oh. That's for you, girl. That link is for you. Um. <laughs> uh. Um. So, uh. What, uh. Yeah, I just, it just occurred to me. I have to keep track. <clears throat> hey, Lighter Man, how's it going? Uh, uh, <laughs> what? Welcome back, Tom Van Hermelen. Uh, uh Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and those are actual travelers. Those aren't just like generic. Uh, those aren't just generic travelers. Those are actually the uh, the adventurers uh, in the game right now. They don't have their name tags yet, so it's it's a little it's a little. Uh, that's I, yeah. It's kind of hard to tell that they're real players, but um, that's what I'm setting up now. So yeah, right. So that's one of the things I have to look out for is name length. Uh, names can Twitch names can only be 25 characters long. They can't be longer than 25 characters, and uh, they uh... oh uh, my 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 uh, font is monospaced, so I know exactly how long is the maximum length of a character name. So what's going to happen is, uh, as the players move across, their name tag only shows up once. It shows up at a certain point, it appears above their head, and then it floats upwards. So, um, so what we're going to be checking is that is to make sure that these names don't overlap. And uh, the way that we're going to be doing that is, as such, I will start. I will start doing so now. Um, all right. So, so we have to iterate over uh, parade again. So, 
four. Uh, oh. So actually, I might I might want to change how I'm setting up name tags. Uh, no, wait a minute. That's a ridiculous question. That's like saying, are we getting closer to colonizing Mars? It's like, yes. It's like, yes. Uh, are we doing it next week? No. <laughs> crazy person. Uh, I can call you a crazy person this time, because earlier today, earlier today, you did get warned. Uh, <laughs> um, no. 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 I don't know what you're asking, but it's ridiculous. Wouldn't it be better if the if they overlap slightly? No, that's that's ridiculous. You go make games where text overlaps and see how well that works, weirdo. <laughs> yeah, sorry, that was a bit harsh, but like, I um, that's crazy. You guys are all just like terrible trolls. Is I guess <laughs> what I'm inclined to assume from this experience. But uh, uh, so I will not be inter I will not be engaging the trolls right now. I will be uh, setting this up. So you guys get to see how beautiful it is and how wrong you all are. <laughs> uh, I joke. Um, all right, so, uh, dude, dude, chill out. Like, take a deep breath. Put on your jacket. Probably your shoes, too, because, uh, I don't know, it could be cold where you are and the ground might be wet or something. Take a quick walk around the block. Come back. I'll, the name tags will be set by the time you get back. Probably not, but whatever. Uh, they'll be set, they'll be set a lot faster if you guys stop <laughs> with all the uh, craziness. <laughs> um, all right, so um, yeah, all right, so so how do I want to do name tags? Maybe I don't need like to keep track of them separately. Maybe I'll just uh, oh yeah no that was the thing that I needed to do is I needed to uh, yeah I I thought about this earlier but then it occurred to me like I only want to show the name tags once for any particular. Uh, dude guy so uh thank you light up man <laughs> parallax is gorgeous isn't it it's just it's just great it just makes everything <laughs> just makes everything so wonderful uh, uh what it, uh yo yeah right so adventures uh q true uh uh i guess i'll just call it uh uh Name tag or whatever. I don't care. <laughs> name tag equals true. No, name tag equals false by default. I'll set name tags to equal true in the cases that I want it. Uh, and which cases are those? Those are the cases of uh, of of add player. So J Q append uh, P dict uh, index name. Uh, dot, what do I call it, name tag, uh, equals true, excuse me, um, actually no, I can default it to true, <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> those are equivalent statements, is the add player, yeah, alright, so it defaults to, it defaults to true, right, sorry. My mistake. And then uh, the only other the other case where we set it to true is uh, is the case where the player act where someone gets added to the adict or excuse me the aq uh, which happens here ish somewhere in here aq uh, aq append name and uh, p dict uh, name. Oh, oh wait no, that's premature, because we can't do it until. So I'll do it at the end of this. I'll do both of these things at the end, because that's more my style. Uh, so here, yeah, right. So for e key, yeah, that's where. All right, so uh, pdict uh, name, because by here they have been added to the pdict in case they weren't there to start. Uh, pdict name uh, name tag equals true. And so, after, this way, after we show the name tags, we can set the name tags to be cool or false. Uh, Alright, so... Uh, 
Yeah, the the character art is very temporary. I need to because I scaled it up, but I haven't redrawn it at the new size, so it's it's like really blurry and like pixelated a little bit. So that I have to fix. But um, and I just have to add more character art in general. I need to add more backgrounds. I mean, like I'm not gonna rush to add m too much more art because. Uh, I guess you weren't here before, Tom. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a pass on this one. Um, I don't know. You seem really invested in finding out how they're going to work. But like, have I actually given you a reason to think that they're not going to work in a sensible manner? Like, do you have any actual? I'm not gonna answer your question right now. In fact, I'm gonna just ask you a question in response because I really need to know. Like, do do you have a reason to think that I'm not going to do this correctly? Do you have a reason to think that? what I'm planning on doing right now is not going to work out. Because if you have a good reason, like, let's not talk about all these, like, my, like silly details that really don't matter. Let's talk about that. Um, if you have that reason, let's let's figure out what it is and, and get that resolved. Um, and if you don't, if you really just have a million questions, like, it's going to, like I said, I'm going to finish this a lot quicker if I don't stop to answer, like, a million silly questions. Because, like, you probably would have had all the answers to all of your questions if I had just sat here and instead of, like, taking all these, like, diversions, actually just done it. So you're going to find out soon. Uh, I'm not saying don't ask questions. I'm saying don't ask questions that you're about to find out the answer to. Uh, because you can just chill out and find out is how that goes. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Yeah, hey, Hurricane Crash. Um, what is happening here? This is the second time we've gotten this weird key error. And, like, how? How? Oh. Oh. Wait, I have a theory. I think I have a theory based on uh, what we were just... Uh... Oh. Oh. Oh, you want to know about how players join and enter the channel? That's, like, completely unrelated, but, yeah, I can cover that in a second. Hold on, I'm just going to see if I can fix this first. Um, <laughs> yeah, the uh, the bot's down, uh, so I guess... Well, I guess you can tell now that the, now that the graphics disappear every time the bot goes down. Um, all right, so, uh, yeah, I have a hunch, because what I realized is that Parade is not based on Player Dictionary just now. So, hypothetically, someone could get in the Parade before they're in the Player Dictionary. So, I think... Um, I think that... <laughs> uh, it's worth a shot, right, Hurricane Crash? I don't know. <laughs> I forget how much of, uh, of what I was planning on saying just then I actually started saying and how much I got distracted by the crash and by other questions. But uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, so hold on. I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I'm going to check this out. Because I'm, I'm guessing... Like, I really can't think of... Like, this error message is useless. Like, this is the <laughs> least helpful error message <laughs> I've maybe ever read, but, uh, uh, let me see if I'm at least correct. So, 351. Yeah, so we're assuming that PDICT is in, that LI is in PDICT, which I guess might not be a safe assumption. So, uh, so... I guess we'll only add to parade if uh, I don't know. That seems weird. I I just I just can't I just can't really think of what else could be happening here, like key error. Like what key? Like this is where we're declaring the keys, not where we're. What the heck? This is where we're declaring the keys, not where we're um, re using the keys. So, like, if there's a key error here, it's because it generated an, a, a fallacious key. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> get more useless error, maybe. If that's, no, not possible? Yeah, all right. Uh, all right, so. Uh, <sighs> I feel like we'd be getting the error here, though. Right? Cause we're we're assuming that that parades in
we're assuming that parade's in Pedict here. So yeah, how does stuff get added to parade? I mean, this is, I guess this is like the only place that it gets added in. So, uh, I mean, I could just check, I guess. I could just... I could just like add in a print here. No, um, I, I mean... Oh. Oh, like if someone leaves the channel? That is an interesting point. Yeah, sure. All right, so maybe I should just error check this. Maybe I should just, right, sure. So, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that is a good question. Um, I mean, it doesn't explain why this error message is so useless, but, um, but it, that would certainly be a reasonable error. And like, when I can't figure out why what I'm what I'm doing is wrong. What I do instead is I just fix things. I just make things better. I just go through everything I've done and I make it as perfect as possible until eventually the bug politely realizes that this is not supposed to be a buggy project and the bug sees itself out. <laughs> so again, I have no clue why. Um, like, well, I'll say it again. This error message is useless. And so it's, I'm clearly not going to be able to uh, see it out. So maybe if I just fix things, it'll eventually see itself out. Um, <laughs> that's my best bet at this point. Um, sorry, one sec. Um, yeah, so, all right. Um, why not? <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, so I guess we should, we'll just check that, um, yeah, I guess the first time we go through the parade. So, uh, yeah, if, um, oh, so maybe we should do this here. Oh, oh, interesting. I'm still nervous about popping from, like, popping while iterating. No, I guess I'm iterating based on uh, the contents, not by index anymore. So maybe it's fine to pop now. Oh, but, um, wait, how does popping from a list even work? Did I ever figure that out? Uh, Python pop list, or list pop, whatever. Uh, list pop, whatever, that thing. Hey, we got a new follower. But it didn't show up for some... Oh, because the, the thing's minimized. Uh, uh, Cooley God, welcome! Hey, uh, thank you for following. I appreciate your viewership and your support. Uh, welcome. Um, yeah, okay, so yeah, removing from a list you do give by index. So, I either need to figure out how to iterate backwards over a range, or... Um, I guess I can look that up, because... I don't know. That would be convenient, because then I could stop worrying about stuff like this. Uh, so, uh, Python iterate backwards uh, over a range, I guess. I don't know. How to loop backwards in Python. Sounds good. Whoa, you can really use that syntax? Cool. Oh, and I can use this. Oh, okay. So, right, I think I did know that one before. You can, you can specify iterators, yeah. All right, so cool. Uh, cool, cool. So, uh, yeah, all right. So, uh, I guess the first thing that we'll do is, uh, we'll say, yeah, right before, so right before we, we actually iterate over, uh, actually, no, we can just replace the old for loop. Uh, so, uh, so for, uh, I in range. Too bad. It works like that now. <laughs> I don't know. Where did you hear that it doesn't work like that, Lightup Man? Because the thing that we literally just read says that it works. So, I guess we'll find out. Uh, Alright, so, uh, parade, so, len, parade, uh, <laughs> what is xd, oh, xd, exclamation point. 
I was like, what is XDI? <laughs> uh, so Len Parade minus one, right? To zero. Wait, how do ra how does range work? <laughs> uh, because I thought I thought range was exclusive of the final value, right? Range, to, yeah, right. All right. So I actually need to go to negative one in order to include index zero, I guess. <laughs> so. Uh, Length minus one down to negative one. Uh, in uh, increment by negative one. Uh, yeah. All right, and then so then we'll basically just do this. We'll do the same stuff except uh, the first thing we'll say is uh, if. Uh, Excuse me. <laughs> if uh, parade i uh, in, so yeah, if parade i in uh, p dicts, we'll do the usual thing. Uh, else, we'll just pop it. Pop it and lock it. <laughs> except, for, except for the locking it part. Uh, and and uh, yeah, so parade uh, dot pop uh, index i, right? Uh, wait, why is this helpful? I don't doubt that it's helpful. Because pretty much anything that set, anything that talks about how Python works is helpful to me. Because I understand like virtually nothing about how Python works. But um, yeah, my current uh, my current uh, problem solving method is just ask the internet and ask Python docs, and I do this all on a need to know basis. <laughs> so when I'm done with this project, I will understand nothing about Python except exactly everything I needed to know in order to complete this project. <laughs> um, I feel like that could work, though. Wait, what are we... Oh, yeah, right. This is a unfinished thought, so... Should be good. Uh, oh, yeah, if anyone else wants to see the link that uh, if dog then posted... What does enumerate? If you come for I, wait, what? Oh, wait, what? Oh, <laughs> that's cool. So I is still the index in this case. I is the, uh, I is the, all right, well, that's cool, yeah, I should probably do that, uh, <laughs> thank you, if dogman, uh, hey, Tristan, yeah, good to see, you. uh, I, I, I plan on streaming for a while, so, yeah, maybe, maybe see you again soon, and then, if not today, then, uh, I'll be streaming again tomorrow, um, in, uh, I know a lot of people hail from Europe, so I, uh, I don't know how known, how well, I feel, I don't know. So, like, in America right now, it's Thanksgiving this week. Not right now, this but this week. And so I'm not going to be streaming uh, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday because I'm going to be off visiting family. Uh, we're obligated to do that here in the States. It's, uh, if you're caught without the presence of a direct relative on any of those days, you... Well, you don't even want to know. The, the consequences are dire. Um. <laughs> Alright, let's see if this works. I mean, I could... <laughs> I could use enumerate the thing that uh, if dog then just told me about. 
<laughs> Whoa. Whoa, what's happening now? That's pretty cool. <laughs> I clearly forgot to fix something. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll let that run. <laughs> but I clearly... No, I know exactly what I forgot to fix. <laughs> Sorry. I know exactly what I forgot to fix. Um, yeah, I never changed it to not use L-I. So it's still using... Oh, excuse me, it's still using L-I. So, uh, Parade I. Uh, is what I mean to say here. <laughs> uh, that's good fun. Uh... Alright, there we go. That's much better. Uh, are those the only two instances of it? I think so. Alright. Uh, so let's try that again. <laughs> that was good fun. Uh, Alright. So maybe that'll work? I don't know. We'll have to find out. Because again... Oh... Wait, so there are also these references to Pedict in, uh... Oh. Wait, no, how am I using Pedict here? Am I using Pedict in a legit manner here? No, I don't think I am. So I do have to do the same error checking here. So I should probably flip around... Wait, no, what am I even doing here? No, okay, so Pedict... Hmm. Alright, so no, this is simple enough. Oh, no. Yeah, no, this is simple enough. Oh, no, it's not. Because look at this. I keep referencing... I keep referencing acts, uh, blah, 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 aspects of it, so I, I need to sprinkle uh, if uh, cdd in uh, pdict and and then I need to put this like everywhere. So if uh, yeah again before I reference pdict if cdd in pdict and and then, uh, again, if, no, that one's fine. And then again, if, uh, except no, this time it's, it's not, it's not, no, it's, uh, if n add in pdict and, actually, do I have to do it here? I guess I could just do it here for cdd, and then it'd be less redundant with the other checks. Yeah, so I'll do that instead. So if, uh, right, all right, so if cdd in pdict and, all right, yeah, so now we only have to check it once per, uh, sorry, yeah, oh, uh, Tristan, sorry, <laughs> sorry, uh, thank you for tuning in, uh, I, uh, yeah, uh, wait, are, how many people are going to the bakery? Oh, oh, wait, sorry, <laughs> no, I did respond to that one. This is the other message. Oh, um, when's your birthday? Oh, on the 27th. What's the, wait, the 27th is Thanksgiving, isn't it? Yeah, no, the 27th is Thanksgiving. I thought I, I literally just explained that I won't be streaming Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I won't be streaming Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. I don't understand. What am I supposed to be responding to, Tristan? Help! <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to be responding to. Um, so unless it's that your birthday is the 27th of December, and that's also highly suspect, because that's like, that's like right after Christmas, so I don't know, I'll probably still be visiting, I'll, I'll probably again be visiting family. I might stream on the 27th, because that's like a far enough distance after Christmas that, um, that's like two days after Christmas, so I'll probably be streaming on the 27th of December. I will almost certainly be, uh, uh, 
I'll almost certainly be streaming the 27th of January, unless it's a weekend. Let's find out. <laughs> the 27th of January is a Tuesday. So I can, I can give you a hard possibly on uh, <laughs> whether I'll be streaming the 27th of December. Uh, oh, and the 27th of, or excuse me, no, the, uh, sorry, January. The 27th of December is a Saturday, so I probably won't be streaming uh, then. All right. Yeah, no, like I said, this is a very important week in, in America. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I will not be streaming. That's why I'm streaming so much today. Uh, it's also why I'm chugging soda, and it's probably why I'm going to get a little loopy from this point on, because I, I've been streaming for... Eight, eight hours? Eight and a half hours? No, eight, close, close to eight hours. Anyways, um, alright, did I, um, I forgot if I restarted the script. So I'm gonna restart it again. <laughs> Wait, what were other people saying about in chat? I'm either really confused right now, or this is normal. This, this might just be how I normally <laughs> Um, alright, so, uh, uh, If they get kicked, wait, you get kicked out, they pick you up in a helicopter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is accurate. Light Up Man's uh, description of the, the repercussions for for not having a close blood relative on uh, on Thanksgiving is accurate. It's just it's just difficult to talk about for me personally because, because of that one year that I... Uh, was stuck in another city and didn't get home in time. I, uh, that was how I learned how to swim. <laughs> uh, whoops. That was also the year I spent as a Somali pirate. No. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, Alright, so yeah, hopefully... Hopefully errors are no longer... Uh, so... Uh, sorry, I was writing a thing about stuff. So for for name tags, we can say Uh, yeah, no, I just, um, all right, so, so we have the name tag property on the challenge, on the, excuse me, on the adventure to know whether we should be displaying the name tag at all. Uh, we have the, the position of the name tag on the adventure to, so we can keep track of how to display the name tag and how we're displaying the name tag. And then, um. So we should keep track of name tags as well. So for uh, so for uh, 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 yeah, actually, we, I guess we should process name tags first. So L I in uh, or actually I uh, in uh, name tags. Uh, for I name tags, um, oh, ooh, huh, oh, no, yeah, no, we can't keep track of them this way, because, um, okay, actually, so, yeah, name tag, so, no, we can't keep track of name tags like this, because reasons, um, so uh, I'm gonna keep track of. Wait, what just happened? I'm gonna keep track of name tag. So I'm gonna get rid of name tags actually, and I'm gonna say. Uh, name tag starts as one. So where else are we referencing this? Because uh, right. So in the other place down here where we're saying name tag 
equals two, instead we'll also say name tag equals one. That way when we start processing it, we'll set it to equal to two, two meaning like in progress, and then uh, when we're done processing it, we'll set it to zero, so that we'll know that we don't have to care about that name tag. Uh, all right, so, uh, We only have one. Um, oh. Hmm. <clears throat> I think, sorry, earlier, uh, previously I was keeping track of passive points gain differently from, from regular points gain. Yeah, now that I think about it, I'm actually just going to get rid of passive points gain altogether in, in, in the display of stuff. Uh, yeah, so... Whereas previously, we were adding in uh, this gain separately. We're actually, just when calculating the, uh, the standard gain, we're just going to uh, account for it there as well instead. So that way, if you passive gain just never shows up as, as additive. Like, it, it'll still get added to your score, and it'll still, uh, and it will still, uh, It'll still get added to your score, and it will still count. I guess it'll just never. Um, you'll just, it'll never be part of the uh, the plus whatever gain text or whatever. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> All right. So what are we actually doing? So I guess we're looping over parade again. Uh, now that we've filtered that list. All right. So for. Uh, uh, I don't know why they have this spacing. Uh, so for uh, uh, what are we doing? Yeah, right. So for uh, uh, L I in parade, is that satisfactory? Uh, if <clears throat> hmm. So I guess we you, we'll process. Uh, oh yeah, no. Like I said before, we have to process all of the name tags. All right, so we actually have to do this twice. So uh, for for L I and parade, if uh, if P dict L I dot name tag equals two equals two then we do this thing and then uh we have to do this again except uh we have to do it equals one because we have to like i, I talked about before we have to we have to resolve all of the old name tags before we start displaying new name tags uh and actually i can copy this uh here because this is basically the case wherein we do this, uh, except, um, so, yeah, so blit text, uh, p key, p key? No. li. No. Yeah, li for now. So I'm just going to start with name, and then I'll do, I can do, uh, I'm going to start with name, and then, uh, I'll do the score afterwards. Uh, so, advs AI, no, that's definitely not true. Uh, advs AI, what is this even, whoa, what the heck? Oh, it's that, IRC is having quite a day today. Uh, I am now discovering. <laughs> but that's fine, that's fun. Uh, fortunately, the script works now, so that I can just restart it whenever it crashes, and, like, it there's like a moment of downtime, but you know, it could be worse. Um, uh, 
Uh, right, so what are all these terms here? <laughs> Li is got to be. Oh, wait, P, P key. Yeah, oh, yeah, blit text. Right, no, I remember how this works. I remember how this works. Uh, right, okay, so it's. Uh, it's uh, x y it's 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 text x y font so the font is font char uh, the text is li the the x is uh, just for now like I can I can work on centering this later but for now I'm just gonna go with uh... all right well I can't rerun this script right now because it's in like a half finished state but um, uh, so right now the uh, so blit text li Abs AI. Uh, no, this is uh, this is now uh, p dict uh, li dot pause, uh, and then the the y is is uh, two thirty six minus. Hey, we got a new follower. Nope, we got z z z sleepy scope z z z, <laughs> which kind of counts. Welcome! Thank you for following! I appreciate your viewership and your support. Uh, <laughs> um, so 236 is... just the... just like an arbitrary height, basically. What's... oh, alt, yeah, no, this was like another weird thing that we were doing. Uh, alt times... wait, what? Wait, what? What is this font char height? Oh, plus five? Yeah, no, I don't remember what that was about. But, um... <laughs> yeah, I think, like, I think at this point it's, like, 60% of my followers are Aaron Scott. Uh... <laughs> uh, so wait, what is the, uh, what is the vertical position? I guess I can just go with, like, uh... I don't know. I, I don't. I don't super care right now. So it's gonna be like two thirty six. I guess. I don't know. Whatever. We'll see what that does. And then font char. Yeah, sure. All right. So. Uh, oh, except so this is if name tag equals two, but name tag never equals two. So. For starters, I'm just gonna say if name tag equals one, then set it's equal to two, which is gonna be ridiculous. It's just gonna. Uh, it's just gonna always like. Uh, show up and they're all gonna overlap and everything, but I just wanna see how that goes. Yeah, look, Journey Bot. Uh, and then as soon as the next person shows up, yeah, so it's all gonna overlap and stuff, but uh, at least it's working-ish. <laughs> so it's kinda working-ish. So now we just have to make it show up better. Uh, and we need to get it to animate and stuff. All right, so, uh, so, uh, I'll just leave that running, I don't care. <laughs> it's better than nothing. I just tend to like to leave the script running, because, like, we get...